Hey guys, fans again. How are we all going? Uh, busy day today. Double brew day. So I'm going to brew uh, first a, the chocolate vanilla stout version 2. Um, so I'll just give you a look at the ingredients that I've got out for that one. So I've got the Munton's uh, stout kit and some 250 grams of uh, dark green for a steep. Um, also going to add, last time I added um, 100 grams of 100% cocoa. I'm going to do 150 grams this time. Um, I can taste the chocolate in it and um, me old man and uh, Big L and uh, some other people, but some guys that don't normally drink uh, that sort of beer said I can't taste it. So, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so, uh, dark malt, one kilo of dark dried spray malt, and I'll have uh, one vanilla bean, which I'm gonna split down the middle and um, put into the boil with, after I do the steep. And I'm also gonna use the rest of the vanilla bean extract. Um, I'm going to add that into the boil. It's got seeds in it as well, so I'm going to add that into the boil and then just like right at the end, and then just strain it off, get rid of the seeds. And I'm also going to get another one of these and add the whole thing to the fermenter um, just before I bottle. So um, we'll see if we can get some vanilla into it this time. Uh, so that's that one, guys. Um, I'll, I'll give you a little bit later on. I won't go on too much with this one because we've sort of seen it before. But um, And then I am going to do the coconut IPA, which I'll show you a bit of footage of. So cheers, I'll come back to you soon. All right, guys. So I've, um, it's been about 45 minutes that I let the, um, the dark grain steep in the pot. And uh, I've just strained off all the grain. And uh, I've dumped that vanilla pod in here, um, as you can see, the steep has worked and it's nice and dark. So that's what we want. I just rinse the uh, the strainer with the grains in it, with a bit of hot water as well, just to wash off all the goodness. And um, I'm going to heat this up to the boil and add in the dark malt the dark spray malt, um, mix the email up till it dissolves, um, then add in the, the Munton's, whoop, Munton's stout, and um, once this boils I'm also going to add the 150 grams of pure cocoa. And, uh, and that's it guys, uh, fill up to, um, not exactly sure, I'm going to take a couple of gravity readings uh, once I get it cooled down to see how much water I get in. I want to try and make this one pretty hefty, so uh, I'll come back to you when I'm doing that. Cheers. Guys, I forgot to add one ingredient, <laughs> the flake barley or, or rolled oats, so I'm going to do another quick steep, it's already done. I'm nearly finished. Um, I've added the chocolate and the and the, war, and the extract kit. Uh, it's all in there, and the dark malt. Everything's in there. I just forgot the oats, but um, I'll do that quickly now. I'll let that sit for another half an hour, and then I might bring it back to the boil just so I know that it hasn't had um, any infection or anything like that. Once I put the uh, the steeped oats in there. So I'll um, do that and talk to you later. All right, guys. So I um, I did the steep with the the oats and I strained them off, and uh, it's all in the fermenter now. So looking looking really dark and creamy. So can't wait for this one. But um, I just took a little, it's still too hot in the fermenter to um, pitch the yeast. 
So I just want to do a gravity reading. So I'll just put you down for a sec. Okay. So it's only 15 liters. I've only made the fifth, the batch 15 liters, and it has come out at. Oh, it's not focusing, but it's 106. About 106.5, oh, roughly four or five, something like that. Um, so it's going to end up, hopefully, um, about a six percent beer. So fingers crossed. Anyway, so uh, I'm just going to give it a little while in the fridge, in the fermenter fridge, um, and uh, then I'll pitch the yeast. Uh, you've all seen that before. So. Uh, that's the end of that one, guys. So um, that's part one of uh, my double brew day. So now I've got to go down the garage and get organised, and then I'll come back to you with uh, when the um, the keg will heating up. Cheers.